All right, we are live then. We got a couple. Adrian is already in the chat. What's up, Adrian? That was quick, buddy. Um, so we're gonna, as usual, we're gonna let a couple of folks join before we get going. Um, and we got Jake. What's up, Jake? How's it going, buddy? And we will get started. Of course, tonight we have Nova Cigars. We have Leo, the CEO of Nova Cigars with us. And we're very excited about this one as I'm sure many other folks are. Um, I'm gonna go over kind of the, the deals real quick, Ben. And then we will, uh, that'll give us a few minutes to get everybody in and joined up. So we're doing our normal buy five Nova, get two for free. Buy any 10 Nova cigars, you're gonna get four for free. And you purchase any 20 Nova cigars and you're gonna get eight for free. Um, the other thing, Ben, why don't you tell everyone else what else we have going on with Nova Cigars? We have a very, very, very exciting uh, raffle going on. Uh, Leo and Ari uh, were extremely generous to donate uh, a limited edition. Or I don't even know how many of these they made. We can ask uh, we can ask Leo when she comes on. But it's a humidor. It's a Nova humidor. And it will come full with uh, 60 uh, Nova cigars. And every purchase of $50 will qualify for one entry. So if you buy 200, you have four entries. And somebody's going to be very lucky with this because it's, I, I don't, just off the top of my head, that's like, I don't know, $500, $1,000. I don't know. Something, something like that. I know I'm probably going to spend like 500 bucks so I can win it. Um, so everybody else, you know, might as well not try, but, uh, I want it. I, it went out in the email, saw pictures of it and everything. So we have, we have more people joining in just one more time. It's a five and two buy five cigars, get two free. It's a 10 and four buy 10 and get four free. And it's a 20 and eight by 20, get eight free. And again, every $50 you spend is one entry towards the humidor giveaway. Um, as, as we always do in these broadcasts, we are doing a Q&A session where you guys get a chance to ask questions of Leo. We're going to bring her in soon. So make sure you get your questions ready. Um, get them into the live chat so we can get them answered. Um, ben, you have anything else to say before we bring Leo in? Hey, so for Leo, hey, she's a very good friend of ours. Hey, I'm excited to introduce her to the club members and the uh, I'm sure some have seen her in, in some other interviews or other shows like this, but it's kind of exciting to have her with us. Absolutely. So we're going to get Leo in here now um, and we're going to get started. Leo. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Chris. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. No complaints. Here, smoking cigar with you guys. What else? What, uh, what it doesn't <laughs> get any better. Uh -uh. So, uh, thank you for being here. First of all, Leo, we appreciate we appreciate you. We know that you have a lot going on. Um, you're very busy. We see you all over the place all the time, and and we wanted to thank you for giving us a little bit of your time uh, to come and talk to us and our our members and and anyone who follows us. Um, so, thank you for being here. No, thank you guys. Thank you for having me. Um. So I guess, today? what do you, huh? yeah, let's start with that. What, what are you smoking, Leo? Uh, today, I just, tonight here, because it's 8 o'clock p.m. here in Florida, I just smoked the Nova Platinum Batch Robusto. It's the one we have the Connecticut Rapid, and we decide put the sugar tip. It's like very smooth, light cigar. And because here it's a little bit humid right now, and I just feeling like something like a little bit lighter, that is a perfect cigar. Sometimes you don't know if it's good only for the morning, or you know what, nice like tonight is perfect cigar to enjoy. Yeah, I, you can't have too much of a full body cigar or a heavy stick when it's super humid out. I, I know I can anyone, anyway. Ben, what are you yeah. smoking? I am smoking the limited edition uh, Park Avenue. Let me know if I'm, looks like I'm delayed on my, uh, uh, one of the limited edition cigars, I think one of a uh, five or one of six original, uh, limited edition. 
Yes, one of the six. What can you tell me about the cigar that I'm smoking that I don't know? <laughs> okay, I know for sure you just uh, leave that particular cigar for a special occasion like today. <laughs> it's one of our <laughs> six limited edition. And one of the things uh, the people and the consumer have to know, we only have and we only make 500 boxes of each of the limited edition. And you are lucky so far because you try one of our cigars on the limited edition collection, the Park Avenue. It's a nice medium to full body cigar. It's delicious. It smokes yeah. so well too. Lots of smoke, lots of flavor. The yes. body, it's yes. not strong, but it's just full of flavor. That's one thing I can say about the Nova cigars. A, that I've smoked that once you light it, you recognize it. Oh, it yeah. It's a very particular flavor that is not confusable with others. I'm still yeah. trying to pinpoint what that is exactly, but it's can even blindfolded charge? if I like one. I'm sorry, I just, I, I just, this. No, it's see okay. My phone. If I light one, I know it immediately that it's a Nova. And, and it's that, that flavor that made us fall in love with it initially. Absolutely. Thank you. And Leo, I'm, I'm, smoking, I'm smoking the Leo, the personal reserve. Actually, I first had this stick in 2009, last year at IPCPR at the yeah. bar. You handed yeah. me one and said, smoke <laughs> this. And I said, yes, ma'am. And, um, oh, I fell in love with it. Um, yeah, that, that particular cigar is, is funny for the people sometimes ask me, what Leo X, what is mean? I said, Leo, of course, is my name and X is a number. It's 10 year in Roman numbers. If a 10 year I just working on the cigar industry, maybe next year I'm gonna put Leo 11. <laughs> because wow. it's, I just count how many years I'm, I'm working on this industry and this particular cigar, uh, besides I pick the blend when I'm in Dominican Republic, uh, it's, it's the first time I just say like this one, a little bit more of this leaf, a little bit more of that one. And then I just enjoy my personal reserve. That is lovely cigar. It's, for me, it's um, my 10 year of hard work in this industry. Um, it's my passion, my love, my, my everything in that particular cigar. And I'm so glad you enjoy, Chris. Mm. Thank I you. Love, I love this. And then I have I have the, the Congress ready. Oh, the ready Lancero. Habano 2000 uh, Ecuador. You're going to love it. Because I know oh, you guys love, love Lanceros. I love Lanceros yeah. and I love this. I've already had it several yeah. times. It, Weren't we supposed to have that as a club exclusive? We have to think mm -hmm. of a different Vitola now. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Anything you want to call me. <laughs> so um, you mentioned, you know, you mentioned 10 years in the industry. Why don't you give uh, us and everyone that's watching a little bit of your uh, your background? You know, okay. what got you into cigars? How, what have you done in the industry? Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit feedback feedback no background about my <laughs> life in the 10 year no feedback um okay everything i started like 10 years ago uh to try to share more time with my dad to be honest with everybody my dad uh, i live in new york for the last 20 years i just moved to florida two years ago but back to new york my father all the time when he come to visit me i know he loves smoke cigars and i said you know what i just want to spend more time with dad I really never smoke cigar, but I'm Google what is a nice place in New York to go to smoke cigar. Macanudo Cigar Club, path on the Google, and I just go over there with my dad. Anyway, I'm starting to smoke with my dad, and I love the idea to share with my dad cigars and talking about the story about the cigars. It's unbelievable. Like I'm working for many years in the wine industry. If we compare the wine industry and cigars, it's really similar. And I'm feeling in love the same way I'm feeling in love in the wine industry because it's family business. It's, it's from year and year and year, it's family people are behind the grapes in the wine and, be, and behind the leaf on the cigar from the day one. And 10 years ago, everything started to share cigar with my dad. And from there, I just push myself to learn more and more and more and prepare myself because I'm feeling in love from the day one from this, with this industry. And from there, I, I believe everybody knows a little bit about me, Macanudo. Then from there, I just start working in Nat Sherman retail. 
a salesperson and I love working in Nat Sherman because I'm learning about all the different cigar lines on the industry. And I feel in love because now I'm really try everything. And from there, I just moved for Casa de Monte Cristo. Like, to be honest, I have the, the letter say I want to just move on to Casa de Monte Cristo and then I and accept and I move and I just run in both the store in New York City. And from there, I just try to go fast because it's a long story. <laughs> and from there, I just <laughs> move from Boca Raton uh, with Casa de Monte Cristo, and then when my time is coming, Nova, talk, talk to my door, and I'm super ready. I'm super ready because I'm no, I say I'm the kind of the CEO, I'm working in different levels on the cigar industry. Because the only level I'm not working, but I push myself to learn a lot, is on the field. Like in 2018, 2019, I, I forgot how many times I've been in the field in Dominican Republic because it's the only way you can really learn it and respect not only the cigar, the people behind the cigar. The people make each cigar. It's, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful industry. You have to meet them, of course. Oh, yeah. Same as, as we have you here. So uh, let me ask you uh, one question, just to follow up. Uh, so Nova approached you. Can you tell uh, everybody a little bit about Nova and the history of Nova without, I know there's a lot of uh, secrets, sort of, you know, where it's Okay, made. you know what, you say secret, Ben, I'm sorry. Uh, it's no secret. Sometimes, you know, you don't want to put everything on the table. You have to Absolutely. respect. Like, but I just want to just good to good to you say that because people think we carry secret. We don't carry secret. We just want to respect people behind us, the family behind us. Can don't want to put him face. Can don't want to just talk about where is the fabric, who is the master blender. Like on the end, the most important we put a great cigar on the table, and I think the most important is if the people enjoy the cigar. Like absolutely. It's, it's like, it's a family business, like I told you before. Um, I'm the face of Nova with Ari. Uh, we're running the business. We, we, with Ari, we're running the business with our, um, all this year, the experience we have on the industry. Like it's, You are the business, yes? Yes, yes. Uh, but that is so another me... thing. Sometimes the people want to know a little bit more. And it's not a secret. It's like, what you want to know about the cigar, we're going to explain. Where is our fabric? We're going to explain. When the people start asking names, it's like a little bit, it's, it's not me, it's not Ari, it's respect for the people behind us. That's it. Absolutely. So so I'll rephrase. Let's leave uh, the not secrets aside. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay. Let's talk, let's talk about... Secret. Let's talk about what we what we can. So let's talk about the cigars, about the blends, about the tobacco for a second. How long are they aged? What kind of conditions? Uh, you know, I don't know if you can tell like how big the factory is, stuff like that. That will just shed a little bit more light about the okay. operation behind it because uh, because it's very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna just explain a little bit. the The fabric is in Dominican Republic. It's very a small fabric. Uh, we don't have many. It's, it's like a, it's like we can talk like maybe 14, 15 people, family working with us. I not say em, they were employees, but everybody working together. Don't make any sense. Cannot an employee. Everybody working on the same. Um, we uh, make the cigar in Dominican Republic. We use the tobacco mm -hmm. around the world for Nicaragua, Honduras, Costa Rica. Um, San Andres from Mexico. Uh, if you try different blends, you can see all the different kind of um, leaf we bring to each blend. Uh, when we start, we start like everybody knows with the six limited edition. Uh, of course, the price point is a little bit high, but sometimes the people have to understand when we talk about limited edition, it's limited quantity. Like each, see each. Um, each blend of the limited edition only come with 500 boxes. That's it. When it's done, it's done. And the aged tobacco, we Number use of boxes. It. Number of boxes, from one at five, 500. That's it. And this, when you're just going to buy something limited edition, it's a little bit, the cost is a little bit high because when it's done, it's done. Um, the another thing I just want to just say, uh, in the limited edition, we use the aged tobacco. People say, how you guys can say you guys uh, put tobacco from 
five, seven, eight years when you are on the business from the last two years. I say, okay, the answer for that is the fabric by age tobacco. We already buy age tobacco. We blend and we put to sleep two more years to blend the different leaves. That is the key. If no, we are. It's impossible. You guys are two years. No, I just want to explain that part too because it's a little bit confused. We buy age tobacco particular, particular for all the limited edition. We buy age tobacco anyway for all the rest of the production. But particular for the limited edition is very specific tobacco. So you uh, basically, you buy all the tobacco. You don't have a farm, you just have the, the factory. Correct. We don't have yeah. a factory. We like, uh, yeah, I understand. like in, in the next one, in the next interview, we're going to talk a little bit more for we're going to be more open. I promise for everyone. So, so I think you hit on a point that a lot of people don't fully understand sometimes when, when people say how aged their tobacco is. I think a lot of people assume that the manufacturer or the person that blended the cigar that you're buying from has actually sat and aged that tobacco. Mm. But there's, there's, there's aging rooms all over the place with yeah. tobacco for sale the at cost, various ages. <coughs> the cost is gonna be a little bit more high if you wanna buy already aged tobacco, but you just buy quality. You can see each of our cigars, any cigar you smoke from the $8 cigar to the 31, look that ash. Look, that, look is a, that is a 31. Look that one. That is the $8. You're going to look the Leo X. That is the Deck point. Of, deck of quarters. All, all of us smoking different cigars right now, but in all the cigars, you can see age, tobacco, quality construction. That is our goal in oral line. If not, you're never going to see. And when you see white ash, this means quality. And everybody knows about that. Well, uh, not only that, but when, okay. you smoke it's, it's, cigars, it's when you smoke these cigars, all of them, you can tell there's age. You know, the palate, my, I, I can tell. It's, it's refined. It's smooth. It's the not smoothness. It's not a okay. punch. <laughs> you know, uh, Chris, you say something uh, very important. You say paladar. That is another key for our line. We, you can smoke. One, any one of our cigars are never going to give you this particular after test. Like for us, we don't want to just put the paladar tire to smoke. Your paladar no. is going to be clean all the time. Never, you, You're never going to have this kind of spicy pepper. Like, oh my God. Like we believe right, we can make good full body cigar and not necessarily we have to put this kind of a spicy. And that is spicy come with the the, par the, the particular tobacco don't have the age to ready to to roll. And the, the aftertaste, you're right. Some cigars you can carry for a while and it's like, mm, it's, with and Nova, then people it's ask similar to, to other ones, the, the other high-end cigars that I think we actually discussed this with, with Oliver here a few weeks ago about the Atabe and the Byron, about the fact that it's such such a clean smoke because of the age that you don't you don't carry it with you. So it, that that's is the a, beauty. You know what is funny, man? All the time when somebody says, "How many cigars you leave smoke a day?" I say like, "I don't know, three, four. I say, "Oh my god!" But believe me, if you have Nova around you and you smoke one and you want to smoke another one. You're never gonna feel in that aftertaste. It's it's it's, it's good quality tobacco, 100%. Yeah. No, ab absolutely. I I can tell. I can tell. And um, so can you tell us where you buy your tobacco, or is that not quite available info yet? It's not a secret. It's no, not a it's secret, tough. but you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I told you guys before, we buy the tobacco around the world. We buy the the different farms around the world from Nicaragua. Uh, San Andres from Mexico is a different. It's the pen. If somebody come to us and say, you know what, I have a aged tobacco for five years, good tobacco, we go, we check. If we like it, we buy. It's not Fantastic. in particular um, um, a, fabric. A, a farm. Yeah, yes. Sure. Yeah. It's, okay. So I just wanted to say what's some, up, some guys. Guys have joined. Um, Adrian, I see you. What's up, buddy? Thanks for joining. Jake, John, Ronnie. Carl, Kevin, uh, Hi, everyone. John, we've got Tony, 
uh, GC, uh, the Bakersfield gentlemen are here. Um, they're saying that the Leo X is a fantastic smoke. I have to absolutely Thank have you. to agree. Thank you. So start getting your questions ready. Andy's here. What's up, Andy? Start getting your questions uh, into the chat, guys, so we can start getting um, some questions up to Leo. Um, I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to start this process, if it's okay with you guys, with a question. Um, Leo, I, I, you know, we have, we have, we've only done a few of these so far, and every single one of our guests have been men in the industry. And we're men, of course, in the industry. And I want to know what it's like being a woman um, in the cigar industry, which is predominantly kind of a male dominated industry, even still. Um, uh -huh. It's a challenge. <laughs> no, uh, be a woman in this industry, I think is one of the industries, believe me or not, open the doors to a woman. Because remember, everything starts on the fields. Everything starts in families. And every family have mom, daughter, grandma, and everybody help. Uh, in this size of industry, uh, like talking about myself, I'm all the time feeling very welcome because uh, it's, it's a pen the way for you put yourself. Like, you know, you have to know about the cigars before you put the two feet inside from this industry. Uh, Being a woman is not easy, but it's, it's, it's fun in the same time. It's not easy because you have to uh, prove yourself sometimes more all the time because people don't understand how much you know about the cigars. It's a challenge. It's like all the time I remember, I just want to give you a quick, um, um, I want to give you back. When I just working in one of the uh, retailers, like salesperson, uh, the funny part when women come to the humidor and see another woman working over there, can feel more comfort. And I love to take care and talk about the cigar. And then when men start listening, oh, she knows. Yes, I know. <laughs> but it's, it, it's fun, it's fun. It's, it depends, everything is depend about each person. Like for me, the way for, I put myself on the industry and prepare myself to work in, in this industry is easy. But again, this is one of the industry, open the door 100% for women can run in different position from the CEO, retail, owner of the cigar lounge, running the factories in Dominica, Nicaragua, all over. Well, I don't think it matters if it's a man or a woman when your product looks like this at the end of the day. And I think Ooh. one of the, one of the, or the first cigar we, we ever sent out was the Perfecto. Mm -hmm. Beautiful cigar, terrific smoke. And I remember in our chat room, people were smoking it, and every single person was putting a picture at the end of the perfecto with the, all the ash. The full, all the ash. Like yes. the construction will, is absolutely phenomenal. It's still one of my favorite cigars uh, ever in the box, uh, and in general. I think I need to get some more of those. I, well, think I, I, good, so. I think you have a good contact for that. We can talk. You gotta, you go to www. Uh, yeah, that's Chris. <laughs> do that. No, I mean, I, I, I don't get the we don't get that perspective, the the female perspective, and I think it's a really important one because I think more and more women are are smoking cigars, um, mm -hmm. and there's no reason not to. Uh, you mentioned it's it's very similar to wine, and and, and it really is the the, the flavor, all, all of it that goes into it. Um, we actually work with one of our brand ambassadors is a female, uh, Liz Santos out oh. of New York City, Remarkable Liz. I love, I love this girl. She's a beautiful sweetheart and she knows and she knows the way to carry and talk about the cigars. That in my size to see women like Liz job in the industry is like, wow, it's, it's unbelievable because it's Absolutely. power. Like if woman can really know about the industry and support everyone. And that is another point. We have to support each one. Besides the brand you represent, besides the line you represent, on the end, we working for you guys. We working for consumer, for friends. Like on the end, can, 
the, the, the last person is going to pick the cigar is you, is him, is like, you know, we only put a different cigar on the table to everybody just can keep trying something different. No, I, I agree with you. I mean, Ben and I and David, we all believe um, the community is is the most important piece of this. And we're not exclusive. It's not a male community. It's it's oh, no. a cigar smoker. I don't, I don't care, male, female, uh, someone that I can sit and learn about and talk with. We've always said, I, I feel like the cigar is the great equalizer. You can sit down with anyone, Arnold Schwarzenegger and your gardener and whoever, and, and smoke a cigar and all be on the same level at the same time discussing and doing something that you love. So uh, I'm, I'm happy to see that. We actually have Liz on the show next week. So a week from oh, today, wow. we'll be on the show. Yep. So, um, Let me answer let me answer a quick question from a Carl. Carl's asking if we are going to get any more of the samplers in the future, because I do believe that we are sold out. And I, I, it's a beautiful, beautiful box. I don't have any cigars in this, obviously, but a, but the answer is yes, right? Neil, yes. you you have more more available, right? Yes. Because yes. I have to just apply there. <laughs> So, um, I let's we're gonna get into some questions from from the audience here, Leo. Uh, the first one actually comes from Tony. Tony is uh, is is one of our uh, cohorts here. He he helps us out in the warehouse um, often, and right now he's actually on his he's on his um, he's celebrating his anniversary. So I don't know how he's doing that. I'm not sure how his wife's allowing him to do this, but he is. And and his question <laughs> is: Does Nova have any cigars with an Ecuadorian wrapper, and which ones are they? Okay, we have a, a, the one you smoke right now, the Leo X. This a, has Ecuadorian? It's Habano 2000 from Ecuador. That's oh, it's a, delicious. Habano 2000 for Ecuador. And the another one we carry with Habano 2000 Ecuador on the wrap, but the filler is a little bit different, is the uh, Congress, the Lancero. The Congress. Yeah. I, I, I have both of them with me right now. <laughs> ah, totally different, of course. The size is different. The flavor is totally different. For sure, absolutely. I, mean, I, I hope Tony, Tony, uh, I answered the question for Tony. I hope so. <laughs> yep, I think you did. I think you did. So what do you think, Leo? As far as one thing that kind of surprises me is that there are not as many uh, women uh, smokers of cigars. We all know that women have way better palates than men. We know that in all the you know tasting jobs, it's it's women that that are doing it because they have a better capability of, of, I don't know how you call it, taste perception, smell perception. Uh, what what is your take on that? Uh, I think it's many women smoking all over, but sometimes for some reason, can just make it private. Like it's it's believe me or not, it's it's a lot of women don't feel in comfort for some reason, go sit on the bar. It seems masculine. Like, you know what? It's, it's like a, maybe him feeling something like that, but because he never be a run of the cigar industry. Uh, if for that reason, we don't see many women. But believe me, many women, shorty by shorty, start open and go to the cigar lounge. And yes, it's funny, go to the humidor and pick the more strong, big ring gauge cigar, and say like, wow, she really know what he, he, he like to smoke. Um, it's, I, I, I think, think it might have a little to do with that because like even with cigarettes, you know, the, the female cigarette is always the little skinny, long one. And I think a lot of men don't, or, or didn't like Lanceros for a while. Now people are starting yeah. to understand that the, uh, the value of it is because it seemed like it was feminine a little it's, bit maybe if when you're smoking it it's not as uh, i'm gonna just uh, tell you a little bit story about that particular cigar the one i'm smoking right now the platinum batch when we make that cigar when we are in the Dominican republic and we make one of the cigars with uh connery or right over there um for some reason i say mm, i just want it's a little bit healthy for the Connecticut, I just wanted something like more light, more sweet, and we come with the idea to put a sugar tip in this particular cigar. Uh, my idea in the beginning is for women can try Nova in the regular size and enjoy. Don't have to go to the skinny flavor cigar. 
this particular cigar don't have, of course, no one of our cigars have flavor. In this particular, we only put a sugar tip. When we make that cigar, we focus on women. And believe me, men love this cigar because it's a good size, it's a nice robusto size, and it's nice, light, light cigar. Uh, and then I just see a woman smoking one of the full bodies. The Perfecto is a good full body cigar. And people love it. A woman love it, that, that cigar. I, when you have a list in the show, ask Liz. Liz like full body cigar. Liz, Liz like everything, but she loves the full body cigar too. She does. I know that for sure. Um, so we have another question from Jake. Uh, his question is, where did the name Nova come from? And also, how did the company's Tiffany blue color come come into to play? Okay, uh, name. I'm gonna start with the name. Nova. If we, if you guys Google, um, it's gonna come with a very small uh, star or very small universe, and it's very small, but it's very very bright. And we believe we are like that particular star. We are very small, we are a big company, but we bribe because we believe what we have. And it's a small, but it's shiny. That is us, and for that reason we come with that name, in part. And then the color, um, Tiffany is a elegant luxury, it's a particular color. If you guys know, it's gonna pass right away in any, any humidor. Uh, we don't want to be the same color over and over and over and make the difference. Like, at least people going to see like, wow, we don't want the people buy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ben. We don't want the people think we make Nova in the light blue for the people buy for the label. We want to just pop. But as soon as you try Nova, you want to see the label is the, 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 the last detail in all the beautiful cigar. And that's one thing, the label is, as soon as you see it, you see how much effort, like there are no uh, corners that were cut, no expenses that were cut, and and that's that puts it together because I know if somebody has a, they did not cut back on the label, it means they did not cut back on the production of the cigars either at all so everything it just makes a complete package every, everything comes together if you're gonna go let's, if you're gonna go to buy a wine and you never try the first thing when it pop in your eyes is a presentation if you don't take time to a nice presentation the people don't gonna give you the chance to try first everything comes for the, with the eyes everybody in anything you do it in your life when you're looking for a, 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 a your wife everything pass on the eyes you don't know what the person is inside it's exactly about the cigar. We have to just make sure it's something beautiful, nice, elegant. To at least you say like, "Oh, that is something new. I want to try." But then you're feeling absolutely. in love with everything. <laughs> absolutely, and, and I know you guys use cigar rings um, to make your labels, which I think is probably the best label, the best label maker um, out there. That's actually who made our, our limited edition rings for yeah. for our our cigars and. And I, I'm always, whenever I, whenever I look at a label, and I did this with yours when I first, I got my hands on my first Nova. I said, I bet you anything, cigar rings made these labels because they're the best. Yes. And the way you present the cigar, like Ben was saying, speaks to the way that you build and construct and blend. The it, respect it, all the way through. You respect the product in totality, the the box, and the way you represent the brand. I mean, that's why we're right. in love with it. That you, and it's delicious. Like when somebody gonna buy a Rolex, you say something like that one time, Ben, I never forgot. They're like just stupid Rolex. if they buy a Rolex. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You're gonna pay <laughs> a crazy money for like excuse <laughs> me, I, just leave it like that. Cut. <laughs> what what and that's you it, guys, about, ben? Ben? <laughs> So um we have another question from Adrian. Um the question is uh first of all, he loves your hair. Adrian loves your hair. Thank and you, uh, thank you. <laughs> besides the stick being limited edition, what, what's the main difference between the core line and the limited edition? And the example he gives is the platinum limited edition Toro and the platinum batch Toro. What are the difference between those cigars? Okay. Uh, the difference is the different tobacco 
uh, inside and it's more aged tobacco in the limited edition. The, 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 the platinum batch, uh, San Andres, Adrian tried, I believe he tried the, uh, the, the, the platinum Toro. Uh, it's a still aged tobacco. We talk about three, four years. But the another one besides is more aged tobacco. We talk about seven, seven year tobacco. That's it. But all the time, any cigar like this is the eight dollar. That is a platinum badge, and I keep showing you to everyone because it's unbelievable. The ash, and this is aged tobacco. Do, do you uh, do you post the age, post roll it, the post roll age, the cigars? I'm sorry, man. I don't understand. Do you age the cigars after they are rolled? Oh yes, 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 because. All the flavors, all the oils need blend together, How long? stick together. At least for two years. For two years. Two years. Okay. Two years. Wow, fantastic. It's a long time. Good. Yes. But again, we are a boutique blend. We are a boutique factory. We are a boutique company. We don't want to rush our product. We want to just make sure when the time is coming, the product go out. Um, Sometimes, it's going to be a point people have to wait because we want to just make sure it's keep the same quality aged tobacco on the fabric over there. So I actually, I have a question that, that goes right along that theme. And it's, you know, we see companies come on to the market all the time, new cigar companies, but we we rarely see new cigar companies come onto the market with the, the professionalism, the prestige, and the success that Nova has. So can, can you comment a little bit about, I know it's easy to start a cigar company, but how hard is it to start a good cigar company? Uh, the first thing, you have to believe in your product. You have to believe in the company. You have to believe on the people behind your cigar. And when you believe, it's easy because you only just put like people all the time say like Leo, oh my god you all the time happy you all the time excited yeah because i know i have a good product and i believe in my product uh this make the difference it's not bring another different cigar on the table it's just make sure that particular cigar is going to make the difference in the industry because you put more passion more love and more uh, i don't know excited to just put something new on the table is believe in what you have 100 percent that make i don't want to say the word easy but make more open mind to people try your cigar because you believe and it's a way to do you transmit everyone it's easy it's to believe like, when you have a good product it, it really is i'll tell you we yeah. try we stuff that's not good you know new <laughs> new companies that come out of the market and it's just like yeah no but this uh, is is gorgeous, um, just it's, all of it's, it. It's a lot of new companies, and I respect everybody come with a new product. But remember, when you are a new company and you are a boutique company, I just keep saying that this means a limited quantity a year. This means you have to be more focused in quality control. You don't have to open the door for one cigar go away in the bad condition. This never ever happen because if you are a small and something like that happen, it can be something really really big. Uh, again, the most important is believe in your product, believe in your people, and uh, believe in yourself. Like, I believe I carry a great product and I'm enjoying Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I, I agree. I agree. You have to believe in it. And what I, what I think is important that you guys do also that a lot of companies miss is your engagement with your customers. You know, not, not the lounges, not this place to sell your cigar, but your customers, the people that actually buy and smoke your product, um, staying close and connected to them, I think is so important. And I see you on Instagram all the time. You're always with people taking pictures and smiling, that big <laughs> smile. And I think I think that is a huge, huge piece, piece of it. Um, so we have another question, Ben, I'm gonna direct this question to you. Uh, will Luxury Cigar Club and Nova ever do an exclusive stick like the Viva La Vida Lancero that we did? So, I'm going to reroute it to Leo because it's all in our hands. <laughs> we discussed it. I'll, I'll, I'll preface it with we had a discussion. I don't remember when it was. I remember exactly where I was standing in my house when we talked about it. But yeah, I don't remember I how long ago it was. 
I'm in Tampa when you call me and I'm a smoke. This particular time I'm a smoke the uh, Congress. I remember. And we talked about it and we talked about what kind of blend we want in there and what I told about we just never brought it to fruition. That, that was about the time where you guys exploded and you got really busy really fast. I'm not saying that's why we didn't, and, and us too. We got extremely busy and we just kind of put that on the, on the slow burner. Uh, but maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to do it now. I'm ready when you guys are ready. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll call you tomorrow then. Okay, <laughs> sounds perfect. So Ronnie asks, Leo, um, what's your favorite cigar to smoke other than Nova? Oh, that is that is no easy question because I love many, many different brands. Remember, guys, before I'm going to start working in Nova, I, I'm the lucky one try many, many different cigars brands outside. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, political correctly. I, I'm going to start naming that brand. Uh, I don't know. You can name some some that you really like. It doesn't have to. You don't have to single yeah. anybody else. It doesn't have to be a brand. Just a, a cigar that you would smoke a lot before. They, they just want to know what else. What else you like to smoke? You know. Okay. Everything is depend. Like if um when I'm gonna start smoking, like I want a light cigar. One of my favorite cigars is one of the Ashton have the Connecticut wrapper. I love that one because it's a easy smoke clean paladar and i love that one that is when i'm gonna start smoking and then i just try everything like if i want like something full body i love the padron nicaragua 100 percent but on the same time i just all the time give you a chance to different cigars different boutique cigars like you guys can imagine like so far uh you guys have a uh, artesano del tobacco viva la vida can make unbelievable cigars that is the thing with us we respect is many good cigars outside. <laughs> and you know what is the pen? Sometimes I just want to smoke 100% one of Nicaragua. We don't have yet a cigar 100% from Nicaragua. We're working in that maybe for next year, who knows, with all the stuff. But sometimes you want to just try something different just to try and come with different ideas what you like and what you don't like on the nice full body Nicaragua cigar. Absolutely. You have beautiful brands outside. The only thing I just want to just take the, the opportunity to say everyone listen to this particular video, try boutique blend too. Everybody have unbelievable cigar outside. Big, big companies have beautiful cigars. I, I love Monte Cristo. I, met, I can keep saying all the cigars I try in my life. But boutique blends bring good cigars too. And sometimes yes, it's good to give you the chance just to try something different. That's it. It's not to change your paladar, but if you like Nicaragua for one particular company and another company brings something 100% from Nicaragua, just try, try, try. the opportunity to your paladar, try different cigars. No, absolutely. I, I totally agree with that. You know, some, some people have their go-tos and their favorites and other people, I always say it's important. Even if you, I've always said, like I have this theory, it's called band shock you know, cigar band shock. Don't look at the band. If you want to try a cigar, try it because you might not like 10 cigars that that company makes, but there might be one that you absolutely right. love. So part of your experience, part of your responsibility as a cigar smoker is to go find those cigars that you love. And there's a lot of treasures in those boutiques, a, a I, lot. I just, I just love uh, when people like, you see any uh, of the cigar store less in this video, one of the great things we like a manufacturer want to ask when people go to your humidor ask what can smoke try to understand what the consumer like and then <clears throat> because it's your humidor you can put something different on the table and open the eyes and the paladar to your regular customer to try something different don't leave the same person go over and over to the same cigar sometimes that is one of the a small mistake because you don't open the doors to your consumer forget it about our side consumer yep. consumer is the most important client friends try something different let me know what you think about it like that that is a good tip i can i i do it that kind of stuff when i'm working in in different retailers yes we have to know 
do we can recommend a cigar for a person? Absolutely. When, you know, when I'm working in our retail location, I have people come in and ask for a certain cigar they like all the time. And I always try to say, tell me what you like about the cigar. I love it. I love it. Why do you like that? Because then I want to say, well, you describe this is similar, but it's a little bit different. I think you should try this. Uh, get what you like, but get this too and try it because yes. you might, yes. you might not. Yeah, absolutely. That is going to be Ben the extra cigar on the end. Like you never, I never, I personally never say, ah, I don't like that. Don't smoke. Because in case I don't like it, this means you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it. But when the person already take the three, four cigar and you see if the person smoke full body or medium body or light cigar, say, you know what? I would love to, you can try this one. It's a new cigar. And I believe you have to give it a chance. Don't move the rest because he already like it and we don't want to put nobody out of the business. Okay. But just want to give you the opportunity to everybody make business. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, so, look, Ben. Look, what look at that. I had to put mine. Come I had on. to before it before it fell on me, but look how beautiful. Even laying here, it's like gorgeous. Oh. I just didn't want to next to it. We don't give uh. you time to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm i I'm smoking. I'm getting them in. So okay, here's a question. Being a new cigar company. How was it in your experience coming out? Um, you know, you guys launched your line with a pretty premium price cigar, you know, up, up in the upper echelon. Uh, was that was that challenging? It's a challenge because people think we are, we don't think like you are a new cigar company and you come outside with the first six line, limited edition with the price point is between $23 a stick to $31. Of course, it's like nobody want to really try uh, a, for the first time a cigar with this price point can never try before. But we want to explain to everyone, we start with this six limited edition cigar with this price point because we have enough tobacco in this moment to make, again, 500 boxes of each line. And when it's done, it's done. If we don't take that time in that moment to bring that out, we're going to lose the opportunity to start strong. And when we start with this price point and this quality tobacco, it's because we know we have something good. And we want to just start share from the day one. That makes, that makes complete sense. Sorry, I keep I keep pulling Ben out of the, the live stream because he's got some wind on his back patio. So you might see Ben pop in and out here, guys. But um, I had a question from... Adrian, Adrian asks, uh, what's the backstory behind the box press Sultan? He says it looks um, like the black sheep of the line. It stands out to him. He looked, I'm sorry, uh, he said the Sultan look like? Looks like the black sheep. You know, the, it's, he, it looks different than the rest of the cigars, the cigars you do. It stands out. And he's just curious oh, yeah, what the backstory is. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, a perfecto. Perfecto, when I use the words perfecto, it means the box press is unbelievable. And then with the shape of the torpedo, make the difference. Uh, we want to make something different. Why not? <laughs> Why not? We have a Sultan. It's an unbelievable cigar, full body cigar. And we want to just, we have already a torpedo in the, in the regular um, size. And then we want to just come with a box press torpedo. No, no many people take time to do it, a box press torpedo. All the box press take more time, okay? Because we want to just make sure it's a perfect box press. We only have so far two. One is the uh, Sultan and the another is the Legacy in the limited edition. Uh, if you have the opportunity to have both on your hands, you're going to see it's unbelievable box press. That make the difference, but it's a, a beautiful cigar. Take more time to make it, but we wanted something like wow, and I think we catch the eyes with the Sultan. I, I I think you did as well. I think you did as well. <laughs> I, I really do. Um, sure. Andy's asking about the the Leo the Leo X. I know we touched on it a little bit, but we've had some new people join. Can you go back and, and just talk about how the Leo X came in, into creation and what part you played in, 
can you show the blending of the Leo X? Okay. Um, the Leo X is uh, the opportunity I have to put all my hard work for the last 10 years. And for that reason, we call it Leo X. X is an, a Roman number and it's a 10. Next year, maybe I'm going to make Leo 11 because I work in 11 years on the, on the industry. Um, this particular cigar is the. Or cigar. you can look and see what Apple does. Huh? <laughs> I was just joking. See what Apple does because they did the iPhone X and next the 11, yeah. right? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, good point. I'm going to have the 11 soon. <laughs> and uh, the, the 10 is the 10 year I'm working on the cigar industry. And then when I just pick the blend for that particular cigar, I pick the size. I make everybody crazy in the fabric in Dominican Republic because I'm so picky, <laughs> uh, especially with something that's going to come with my name. And I want to just uh, not only put all my years of experience in that particular cigar, I just want to put all my passion, my love, and my energy in that cigar. <laughs> it's full of love. That cigar, besides it's full of tobacco, is full of love. <laughs> it, it is. And it's, I, know it's you, I know Chris with that cigar. Be honest. What's that? I know you're feeling in love with that cigar. I feel it. Well, every time I smoke it, I'm reminded of, of that night in Vegas when you Ooh. you put it into my mouth, you lit it for me, and you said, smoke this. No, you handed it to me. You, I think you handed me five or six cigars, and I said, what is this, Leo? And you said, that's my private reserve. And I said, I'm smoking this right now. So every time I smoke this cigar, that's that's the moment I think about. You know, it takes me back. It's still consistent, still tastes the same, and it takes me back to that. And so I have an emotional attachment to this cigar as well, but it is really good. And the box that it comes in is so gorgeous. I love the box that it comes in. Yeah, um, it's, it's my personal. All the boxes are top notch. Uh, Jake, Jake asks, who, whose idea was the Nova Championship football? That one right there, the one that Ben has. He also asked, which side are you supposed to light it on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, just put the cigar again. You're going to see what side. Put it, put it up, Ben. Okay, you see that side, the one that have two lines, have a, have a little bit uh Tell, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That is the one you have to cut. Oh. So but you cut the line cut. with two lines. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? To be honest, like in this particular cigar, the construction is perfect from the beginning to the end. And it's for some reason you cut it in another size, you are still gonna have exactly the same profile, the same flavor profile in that particular cigar. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I'll be I'll be honest. I've cut it from both sides, and you I couldn't see? tell I couldn't tell a difference. No, um, it's, it's not different. It's really not not different. But the people all the time want to know what size you want to cut. So who like who's idea, whose idea was the football? Okay. Uh, everything with the football cigar. Everything start because we gonna have it in Miami last year, the Super Bowl. Uh -huh. And I said we live in Miami. Our office are in Miami, where we don't come with idea with a nice cigar. Again, we already have a good tobacco waiting for the roller. And I said, like, you know what? We are here in Miami, in Florida. Why are we going to come with the nice cigars to everybody can enjoy here to the um, the big game? And everything started over there because the big game in Florida. Fantastic. So Jonathan has a good question. He says, uh, he says, which, 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 <laughs> Should I buy? He's admittedly unfamiliar yeah, with the It's crazy. And uh, he's looking for a suggestion from you, Leo. Jonathan, yes. he's, he's not familiar with the brand. So where should he start? Okay. Can can you ask to Jonathan what he regular smoke? He can tell okay. me any Jonathan. brand. It's fine. And I can have a more idea what I can recommend for him. Perfect. Jonathan, put put in the comments what, what you like to smoke so she can make a, a perfect recommendation for you. Um, uh, and then Carl has another question that's similar. He says, so as someone who hasn't had any Novas yet, which specific Nova, if you could only have one, would you recommend to best represent the experience you at Nova are trying to create? That's a great question, Carl. It's, it's, it's a great question, but again, see only you can have one and you want to try one Nova cigar, I need to know 
what you like to recommend. I think, I think he's one. most. He's asking like, what if you had to to make a poster, uh -huh. a, a huge poster, which one would be the poster boy? Which which cigar from Nova? Ah, uh, it's hard. <laughs> it's very hard because we have a. 17 different lines and all the lines are different. It's, it's not about the size, it's about the different blends. It's, it's you know what, it's gonna be a little bit hard answer because uh, I, I can put the um, the sample, at least if, if you wanna make one post, okay, with a big picture, put the sample. At least we have six of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm, go I'm gonna change the question. I'm gonna change the question. If you could only smoke one Nova cigar for the rest of your life, which Nova would you smoke? Leo X. <laughs> the Leo X. There we go. No, 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 no. But if I can smoke, okay. You know what? Leo X is a nice medium cigar. Besides, it's Leo X. It's a nice medium cigar. Habano 2000. It's, it's a cigar. If you like a, a full body, you want to have a little bit of that. If you like light cigar, it's not going to be so uh, intense for you. And if you like medium, you are perfect. Uh, I can recommend Leo X. I can recommend um, the Congress. The Congress is another cigar. It's a nice medium cigar. Yeah, that is the kind of cigar I can recommend, like medium, not too, not too full, not, not too light. Then we have in the batch, we have the batch um, torpedo. It's come with Habano 2002. That is another good cigar to try. It's totally right. different, three different cigars. It really is. I love the, the club edition. I, uh, yeah, that is another good one. You see, that's but if I had, you see what if I had to choose one, many though, good ones. <laughs> may, very, uh, they're all good. If I had to choose one, I'd probably the I'd probably say that the perfecto. club edition. Would, perfecto? No, the perfecto is like the essence of Nova. It's like you know, yeah. construction. The, the whole experience is is Nova. Okay, before be before I'm gonna push that ash on the on the ash tray, I just wanna show you for the last time because I don't wanna just put all the ash in my <laughs> in my white shirt. Okay. <laughs> so um let's see what else. No, I'm gonna go back to the Congress. Everyone that, that knows me pretty well knows that I'm a Lancero. I mean it's my absolute favorite Vitola. I love the flavors, I have no masculinity issues, I believe and smoking something that I enjoy to smoke. And that's a big part of why our our limited edition stick with Viva La Vida was a Lancero because the Vitola, the, the craftsmanship that goes into it, the, the tobacco that goes into it, the leaves, you know, the leaves that you have to source for, for the cigar. So I, I am a huge proponent of this. I'm a huge proponent of the Leo X. Also the Nova Perfecto for me, that stick, when I when I think Nova, that's the stick that I see in my mind. It's such a gorgeous and well-made cigar. So if you guys that are looking for suggestions, go with any of those three. You're not going to go wrong. Or you could go with one five-pack of all of them, and just you'll really, really be able to figure out your, for yourself what's best. Um, so Jeff has a question. He goes, how many tobacco farms have you been to, and which one of them is your favorite? Okay. Uh I just been in a, all the all the farm I visit is all in, in Dominican Republic. I visit the fabric from La Aurora, from uh, La Flor Dominicana, uh, Davidoff. Uh, are beautiful, are a huge fabric. Um, besides the fabric make our cigars. Uh, the question is, what is the one I, I really like more? What, what? Yeah, what, what farm did you like visiting the most? Um, Every farm is different. Like if you like something in one farm, it's really, I, I, I don't have an answer. I don't have exactly answer to that particular question. I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> because That's I love okay. all the farm. Every farm gives you something different, ex different experience. That's, that's fine. That's definitely fine. Uh, let's see what else Neil. do we have? Is there anything you would like to, to talk about specifically before we go to more questions? No, I love the people ask me questions. I, I love that kind of thing because that that is us. Uh, we want to just answer. We want to just be. If you guys want to ask, ask me any question, I'm, I'm good. So so I'm good. the I'm a good question. 
It's actually coming from our private members lounge and Nigel is asking it and he's asking, um, since you source from so many source, you bring, you buy tobacco from so many different sources, how do you maintain and manage consistency across the, the blends? Um, you know, some, if, if you buy a batch of tobacco from farm A, and then maybe next time you buy a batch of that same tobacco from farm B, there's going to be subtle differences between the flavors. Do your blenders adjust for those differences? Uh, our blenders are ready for all the stuff, and we are ready for enough tobacco for many, many, many more cigars. The only uh, we already buy, and we don't have exactly the same, it's for the limited edition. But most, like all the time, we just buy tobacco enough to cover for many, many, many years. Like if we already uh, bring a, um, a line of Congress, we make already, I'm going to give you like example, like 1,000 boxes. Okay. We already start aged tobacco for one more thousand boxes in the same quality, in the same age. We, we put ourselves ready. If for the yeah. reason uh, we don't be crazy, we... Um, we don't we don't make many many cigars like we our fabric make like eighty thousand cigars a year, uh, but we, we keep like we sell, but we already put to sleep more aged tobacco waiting for the, exactly the same blend. Yeah, no, I think that's important to, to remember, guys. Uh, the the limited editions, especially, are roll, are aged for two years after they've been rolled. Correct. So, Sorry. so the the cigars you're buying now were made two years ago at least. And so they have a trailing production, which is um, something that's really hard to manage with, with some of these high-end and ultra-premium cigars. You, you don't know what your demand is going to be in two years. So you yeah. make, you make what you slowly. think. You, you make what you have and you sell yeah. what you have and, and you're happy with that. And that, that to me, you're not trying to push cigars out just no, no. because if, if you push them out, you get consistency issues, you get no, flavor no. issues. Chris, that is our key. We have to be consistent. We have to keep the quality. If we make any of these kind of mistakes, sometimes companies do it. It's, it's the worst because when the people start believing in you and in your product, it's hard to bring the good product back. We know, we, our cigars, like you guys know, we don't have our cigar yet all over because we go slow. We do it a lot of advertising. We want to open the doors to the people try our cigars. But we are a boutique blend. Like when the time is coming, it, it maybe we don't have enough production because the tobacco is not ready. We're going to start saying, I'm sorry, it's not ready. You guys have to wait six more months, seven more months. When it's ready, it's ready. Like if we want to go to that kind of, we, we have to do it sometime like that and, and call orders because the tobacco is not ready. We're going to do it. We're never going to just bring products outside when we know it's not the time yet. Perfect. Actually, and that's one of the things that you guys are very, very active. You, every time I call, every time we talk, you're either at a show, on your way back home from a show, on your way to a show, or a show, like a, a lounge, just, you know, mingling. And that brings me to, to Jake's uh, question, which is a very good question, is do you think you'll ever make it to a lounge near Chicago, or have you already been? And do you know, or, or are you already selling to uh, stores in the Chicago area right now? Oh, okay. So far, we don't have any store in Chicago. If you want to recommend any store or you want to ask on one of the stores to carry our line, we will love to go there and talk with the manager to the owner and present our product. So far, we don't have no one, no, no store in Chicago. Fantastic. Not yet. <laughs> Not Where yet. are you, most of your stores at? You know what is funny? We don't have many stores in one city. We have different cities, maybe one or two stores. Like we have in Ohio, uh, we have a, a, a house of the house of the cigar in Ohio. We have a two a two uh, stores over there. Then we have on um, Arizona. We have with Bartan Ambassador Cigar Lounge. Then we have on uh, Vegas. We have. Um, what is it? Oh, Elios Cigar Lounge. Uh, oh, Helios. It, 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 yes, uh, it is funny for we make an event over there before we back for the TP. But anyway, we don't have many, many stores in one city. 
sometimes in one city we have only one store. Uh, in, right now, in my memory, I can I don't have everything, but I don't want to start talking about a couple store and leave a couple store on the side. It's, we have a couple. We're going to just post in our website or the store, depending where you guys live, where you can find our cigar on the cigar lounge. But for sure, to everybody over there, you guys know you can find our cigar with the Luxury Cigar Club. And that is good. Yes. <laughs> but yes. no, it, it, and I think you made a good point, Leo. If you guys are looking for a cigar, whether it's Nova or any other brand in your local lounge, go tell them, I Please. want this cigar here. Yes. And they will, they will work hard to get it, or they should work hard to get it anyway. Um, I, I put Leo, I put your Instagram here. You guys can follow Leo on Instagram at Cigar Blondie. Um, that's her personal Instagram page. Of course, Nova Cigars is, is is the company's page, but you guys can also reach out and contact Leo also. Um, and, and, and she's there. So if you want to go follow her, go follow her. Um, we're probably about 15 or 20 minutes left in the live feed. So I just want to go over the deals that are going to be available again. If you have any questions, get them in now so we can get them answered. You purchase any five Nova cigars, you're going to get two free. You purchase any 10, you're going to get four free. And if you purchase any 20, you're going to get eight free. And from now until May 1st, every $50 you spend on Nova cigars, you're going to get entered in a chance to win this really fantastic Nova yes. humidor that Leo and, and the team at Nova has so graciously offered as a giveaway to us. So show your support. They're willing to support you guys. They want to get their cigars in your hands. Go buy. Um, remember, these deals are only good while the live while we are live with Leo, as soon as as soon as the live feed is over, those deals are yes, gone. Go now. Luxury Cigar Club over there. Luxury, <laughs> there we go. Go now. So we have uh, a few more questions coming in, Leo. Um, Let uh, me ask a question. Go has ahead, to ben. do actually with what you just said. Uh, so you know all the the cigar companies they have they make hats, they make T-shirts, they make stuff like that. Nova does not. Nova has. Other stuff, I'm sorry if it gets windy, tell me. So windy. I'll mute, but super windy? Never mind. Uh, <laughs> if you can't hear me, just tell me. So what you have is beautiful humidors. You have the, the beautiful ashtray um, with the drawer. What's it called? Is that, that's an ashtray, right? With the drawer the underneath. Window. Right? You have these uh, amazing uh, pins, magnetic pins. Beautiful. You know, you have you unique stuff. One. I don't. Where did Chris get one? I got one at the show. Yeah, come on, Chris. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, are you planning to do some more stuff advertising, like I don't know, hats or T-shirts or or uh, uh, cutters, yeah. lighters? Yeah, we started with the production with cutter and lighter, just to put an extra gift to all of our friends and followers. Uh, so far, now everything is is, is stuck because. For all this situation right now, we don't receive the, the production, but we're gonna just come with a beautiful color and lighters with a Nova color with our logo, just to start give you away and everybody just carry a piece of us in his pocket. You know what I wanna see? I, I wanna see a Leo bobblehead. <laughs> that's, that's what I want with that with that hair. Oh my gosh, exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. I would put it in my car. For sure. <laughs> exactly. John has a terrific question. Yeah. Okay, sorry, uh, you're in the middle. Uh, the question is, not everybody knows, but uh, Nova is opening a lounge in Florida. And yes. he is asking uh, when will it open, but I will ask for the rest of us. G give us some information about that. Tell, give us the scoop. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk about the cigar lounge. Uh, we're gonna we if everything is ready, we the only thing we know open the door again for all the situation right now. Uh, we uh, have the opportunity to have our own cigar lounge in West Palm Beach. Uh, it's a beautiful cigar lounge. Uh, I believe as soon everything is go away with all the situation with the coronavirus, uh, we're gonna open and we're gonna let everybody know. Uh, it's gonna be uh, open to public and membership of course. Uh, it's going to have a lot of good details because it's going to be different. When I say, like, for sure, we are different. We are we think of outside of the box. 
our lounge has to be like that. But we don't promote too much right now because, again, uh, it's going to be like more Nova, and we are um, we try to just don't don't mix it up like cigar club with the Nova line is totally different things. Uh, the cigar lounge is most is I'm looking for a nice beautiful office, you know, <laughs> to smoke and bring all my friends. Like you guys can come to Florida and visit me on the cigar lounge. Yeah, well, it sounds it sounds like we have a place when we launch our our Nova and Luxury Cigar Club exclusive. Oh. We'll do we'll do a launch party at the new Nova Lounge. Oh my God, you guys gonna love it! Has to come out. You guys gonna love it. As soon everything is one hundred percent ready to open the door, for sure I'm gonna just start post videos and advertising to everybody knows. We not only here with the cigar brand brand to everybody we're going to be here to everybody have a house to come when you guys planning to visit florida i love it <laughs> um, tony has a question it's about the sweet tip you have one oh, you have one, one sweet tip stick only right that's the only one the only one is the robusto, it's, batch robusto it's the batch robusto perfect yes. okay tony there you go um and then David actually is saying he would love to see a chisel tooth Nova. Any plans for a chisel tooth Nova? I never say no. I'm all the time say be ready because you guys in our lines are gonna start seeing things you never see in your life. <laughs> uh, oh. Who knows? Like just be ready. That's a big. That's a big Nova, claim. Yeah, nobody's gonna keep give you surprise year by year by year surprise in different sizes, different tobaccos, the people are going to be like, wow. Yes. That's fantastic. <laughs> Who knows? That's she, really said fantastic. Good. she said sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Well, we're, we're, almost, we're almost finished. John says he's definitely going to be there when your lounge opens. He's going to be there. I love it. Um, Perfect. And, you know, Leo, is, is there anything else you want to say before we let you go um, to us, to the to say, community? First, I want to say thank you to you guys and David uh, because uh, from the day one when I meet you guys in the PCA 2019, it's like unbelievable connection, unbelievable energy. And one of the, the things in Nova team, I talk about myself and Ari too, that is a kind of relation we wanted with everyone. You guys opened the door for us and, we, uh, and you guys are amazing. Um, and in the front of everyone, I just want to let everybody know anything you we're going to be there, not only because we are Nova, because we consider ourselves your friends. And I want to say thank you. You guys do it great. You guys give you a lot of support to companies like us, uh, companies like a Star, like Boutique Blend with Cigars. Thank you guys. Many people, Star knows about us. And I have a good memory, and I'm never going to forget that. Thank you, guys. I just want to say that. You're welcome thank and you. thank you. I think it's uh, it, it's not just, it doesn't go one way. You guys supported us. You guys uh, gave us the tools to to be able to to support you as well in, in return. Thank Absolutely. You. And for us, it's not friends, we're family. We believe we're family. And um, we always call our members our family and the brands that we work with, we call our family. and, and we're, we're always grateful to talk to you. We're grateful to work with you. And we really appreciate you taking some time. We're almost done with the live stream, guys. So if you have a cart on the website that hasn't checked out yet, make sure to get it done quick so you can get your, your bonus sticks from us um, and, and from Nova. And we, we thank you so much, Leo, for your time. Um, we usually do a herf, a digital herf online after, after these live shows. You're more than welcome to come if you want and at least say hi to some of our guys. They'll be on video as well. Um, okay. And if you're interested in that, Ben will get you that information yes. over there. But thank you again so much, Leo. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for bringing Nova Cigars. And everyone, please help make Nova big. Make sure thank you post you. Thank Instagram. you, all of you. Make Nova big together. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Remember next next week we are live at 8 p.m. Eastern. We're gonna have Schmokini and Remarkable Liz talking about Sisters of the Leaf and the industry. So tune in for that. 
next week. We'll be doing some specials for that as well. Um, everyone is saying thank you, Leo, for being here. I hope you all have a fantastic night. We'll talk to you all thank very you. soon. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good night, guys. Bye. bye. I'll send you the link.